All right, let's look at, let's work together. A song by Wilbur Harrison, also recorded by Canned Heat. I'm gonna play some, you can see if you like it. I'll talk about how to play it after I do that. <laughs> So let's look at how to play Let's Work Together. That was a fairly brief portion of the song, but it included all parts. It's a good song to play the cigar box as a rhythm instrument in a band setting. So you can be setting the rhythm a like... <laughs> Okay, so I started out, though, with a bit of a, a lead part. It's a lead in G that you can sort of append on to the beginning of any blues in G. And what you're going to do is end it. that chord there, which is 2nd string, 3rd fret, and the other two strings open, then you're going to pause, and then you're going to go into your riff uh, with some energy. The pause followed by the energy makes a nice contrast. doesn't have to be this song. You could append that uh, introduction onto, for instance, uh, Drop Down Mama. Like that. Okay.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the tab for that introduction up at the end of uh, this walkthrough on how you play this arrangement. So what you need to know is this rhythmic part. So I'm using the two G strings as drones throughout that. And on the uh, D string, I am hitting the fifth fret also another G, and the second fret, and then the open D. So it's really the rhythm that's important there. Then when it's time for the C. You can use that form there. Or, of course, you could bar at the fifth. For the D, you can bar at the seventh. And for the little turnaround, you go five, six, seven. Okay, so one other thing. If you're in a band and you're not the vocalist, my recommendation is that you play that rhythm throughout the whole G chord. If you're the vocalist, you might have trouble with that. So I switch to a different riff under the G chord when I'm singing. So I'll demonstrate that. It, the what I switch to is just so open then second string second fret so here's how that sounds All right, then if you are taking the break, I showed you a riff that works well on this song. What I did was capture the rhythm on a looper and then I was able to play the riff over it. So the riff is played all on the first string using the other two as, no, I take that back. They are not used as drones. It's played all on the first string. So you slide third fret to fourth fret, <coughs> go down to the seventh fret, bend on the third fret, first string open. So the first two times you do it in the first occurrence of the G chord, it's kind of slow like I just did there. And then what I did for the second occurrence of the G chord is uh, um, played it a bit faster and only played half of it. Like that. And I think that is all the parts you're going to need to put the song together. So I will now put up the, the tab for that introduction. You can use it on this song or any G song you like. Enjoy. <laughs>